And he said, have you got a record deal? And I said, no. And he said, do you want one? And I said, who with? And he said, Chris. And I went, yeah. Let's just do that. That was it. The gentleman on the left with the strange uh, hairstyle is Alan McGee, the Chief Executive Officer of um, Creation Records. The relationship uh, between Alan and Bobby was, was fundamental. My God, maybe I can do that. And that was it. That was, that was the moment that Creation Records became a reality and I decided to do that. Random collection of misfits, drug addicts and sociopaths. It would just be to stay up. The little grateful paper sleeves and stuff in the room. You know, I'm not going to do this. There's got to be more to it than this. Even though it was mania, we don't had no idea that the world was going to get it. It was just drinking far too much and I didn't find it very easy coping with being famous all of a sudden. We were just being really angry and full of energy and spirit and all that and he was a bit impressed by it. And it eventually became the mainstream sound of a generation. Being Nebworth was above and beyond any of my expectations. And it went from being a, a, a kind of proper indie label to almost like you know, trying to become a multinational second rate network. I was gobsmacked. I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> Which was a first. So really, you know, the creation record story is, I guess it's about the death, the end of the independent thing. <laughs>